Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 48. And we start off this episode by nipping down to the to our free range cattle, to our bulls in growing, our bulls in the making as such. <laughs> well, we just need to go and give them some water. They're doing very well. Um, we'll probably need to check up in the cow shed somewhere along the line. Maybe not in this episode, but uh, before this month is, is out, we will just check up to see if there's any more male calves to come down. But in the meantime, we just need to top up their water. We'll get that all sorted out. And as you saw there, the main gist of this episode is going to be the purchase of a new production to satisfy one of our original goals and we'll find out soon enough exactly what that is right let's just get that all filled up it it's one of the downfalls of this of this mod is that it only takes about 6,000 liters of water so you need to fill it up well, with the numbers that we've got in the moment, at least once a day. But I have used it before where I have to fill up at least twice in the day. So it's morning and evening, which is probably not that unrealistic, but um, still. I don't think we're going to make enough money out of them to do, to warrant putting in. Uh, and auto full some system or whatever but um yeah they are looking rather healthy although um, i'm sure i did mention we are um, just allowing them to graze at the moment we're not fattening them up so we just allowing them to graze off the fields and um, when they get to about uh, i'd say it was probably about 18 months old the oldest get to about 18 months old we will uh, start putting in hay for them and that will bring them up to full sale health and uh, we'll then sell them make a bit of money although they are not beef cattle we still will make some decent money out of them right so here we go let's get started so one of our original goals was to, to make pumpkin pies so we're going to collect all the pumpkins that we've got. We'll also collect the tomatoes and take them down to deliver to the ketchup factory, but that is just a by-the-by job. We'll collect the pumpkins, take them down, and we'll buy the bakery. Now, many episodes ago, most probably 47 or so ago, one of the things that we did mention was uh, making pumpkin pies we did say that's what we want to do so hopefully we can get that started in this episode don't want to take lettuce down there because we want to take us i'm not sure how many pumpkins will take to fill up the the bakery but we'll take every pumpkin that we have down <laughs> and then we'll also try and take down if we've got space take down strawberries because we'll get some cakes going as well and anything else that we can make that's not bread I don't want to be doing just bread in the bakery at this well not at this point in time it's just I've done it so many times and want to do the high value stuff <laughs> in any case I think we should have some more pumpkins along here and some strawberries This little uh, John Deere, although it doesn't have any great speed pulling this this um, trailer, is ideal for loading, for auto loading the um, the pellets in this confined area. Just making sure that those are strawberries and not t tomatoes. Although we could have taken tomatoes as well, but I do want to get some strawberries going. Oh dear, I, need... I think those are 500 litres, 
so 2,000 litres only. Well, that is the way it is. <laughs> we'll certainly get some down in the next uh, in the next month. So we're in November now. It'll be December. Right, just offload that there, and then we'll go and pick up the milk trailer because I think we need to put milk into the bakery as well. The extra milk that doesn't go into the bakery, if it doesn't take at all, uh, we'll put into the into the dairy, which is right there, basically. Let's get this unhitched. one of the advantages of this milk trade um, this milk trailer it's not really the, this um, milk lorry is that it has some nice speed so we hitch up a trailer to it taking milk down we're taking a lot of product into town in once at once so this is going to get a, a full load of milk which I think is 22,000 litres. We've got just about two tankers of milk to go down so we'll have a look and see what where we can sell the rest of the milk. Um, we've still got a fair amount of milk in the in the dairy so certainly enough for the next couple of months but we'll keep just topping that up because we'll have to most 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 probably I don't know, I, going to presume that we're going to need to top up the bakery pretty much every day. It should be just about full. 22,000 litres of milk, yep. And we're away, so we're going to head into town now. And the first thing we're going to do when we get into town is by the bakery. We've got enough money. We have made some of our routine deliveries already this morning um, so I have collected uh, the wool and delivered it to the clothing factory, delivered the clothing that is made, put, put that into the store for sale in May or June, uh, April or May, somewhere around there. And we've done the juices as well. Right, we'll just park off here quickly and we'll go and buy the bakery. 60,000, cheap at the price, I think. Right, there we go, we have it. Let's have a look and see. So bread we're not going to do. Cornbread, not now, maybe later. So there's quite a few things that we need. So we need flour, which is going to auto deliver. Sugar will auto deliver. Milk we'll, we're putting in now. Eggs we'll have to bring down. Butter we'll get from the dairy and pop it up. Um, most probably in, in this little delivery cycle. Strawberries are going to go in now. So cakes, yeah, we can do. Pumpkins, pretty much everything the same except for pumpkins instead of strawberries. So we will be able to produce that. So we should activate cake, pumpkins. So we activate that and we'll activate that. Yeah. Apple pies. Well, we can get apple pies automatically delivered from the apple orchard. That's good. Sweet cornbread. No, not for now. Maybe a little bit later. We've got sugar and uh, we can make uh, grow some corn and put it into the corn dryer. I think you need uh, dried corn. This is called dried corn. Something along those lines for that. But we'll uh, we'll look at that uh, down the line if we get that far. <laughs> right now, this is the only little thing about this bakery is that the 
trigger point is pretty small. Right, so we've got pumpkins going, we've got the strawberries going in. I'm not sure we're fully into the into the trigger area. I'm sure this thing doesn't take such an odd number. It's only 70, f I know it's 5,000 left on. I didn't really look to see how many pumpkins we actually brought in. The pumpkins might, might well be full already, so it's not taking a lot of pumpkin. Mm. Thinking out loud here, but in any case, that's not a problem. Let's get this delivered. Let's just check up. Yeah, it's definitely not taking anything else. Let's have a look quickly. Where are we? Yeah, pumpkins only seven seven thousand liters. So with those numbers, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to top up fairly regularly. We'll see. So we've got pumpkins. We'll we'll take them to the diner. We've got reasonable price for pumpkins at the diner. Instead of carting them all the way back to the farm and selling them at the farm shop, we've put a lot of pumpkins into the farm shop over the last couple of episodes. So, right here. So let's um, let's go and deliver to let's go and get the tomatoes delivered to. The ketchup factory. Get. We still need to top up ketchup in the pizzeria, so it has. It's not full at the moment, but this should help along the way. It's not. It's not critical. It's. We've got plenty there to keep production going. Um, I didn't show you, but uh, we dropped off the milk, of course, at the at the dairy. Um, right. So we'll head on up to the. Shopping will go and sell all the rest of the pumpkins. It's only 5,000. Well, I'm going to say only. It's quite a bit of pumpkin. <laughs> um, not sure what the diner is doing with the pumpkins. Maybe making pumpkin soup. Seeing as we only started producing the pumpkin pies, so we haven't been able to deliver any pumpkin pies to them unless they make their own, of course. Right, how much are we going to make out of these pumpkins? It's not a hugely high value item, but it doesn't cost a lot to produce. A bit of water, basically, that's it. And of course, we have our own dams to supply water, so yeah, besides the initial investment, pretty cheap crop. Very slow to deliver. So, uh, just we'll call it 5,000 with the environmental score. While we're here, we'll just go and pick up the pizzas, probably five boxes of pizzas to go in. That's our daily production. We'll bring that back up to the to the diner as well. We are the sole supplier to the diner of pizzas, and they do take all out. Whoops! Watch out for the stairs. <laughs> uh, let's go and get this delivered. <coughs> yes, so that was a, another good forty thousand odd for the pizzas. going to load up the the butter and I think there might be a bit of cheese which we'll take into the pizzeria as well F 
find that trigger point again. This whole episode's all about getting this bakery up and running. Little side things happening, selling things here and there. But we have gone through most of our daily routine in terms of um, farm work. We haven't done feeding, we will have to feed still. Um, but yeah, that's going to, the feeding of the cows is going to be changing in most probably in this month, but that'll be for another episode. November might take up uh, at least two episodes and there will be maybe a third one just depending on um, on how we can work it out there's a lot of work to be done on the farm this month before we go into the quiet periods of winter which is probably the next three months but um, yeah so um, so we'll be have a, so we had two months in last episode and we'll have another uh, two episodes for last month we'll have another two episodes probably for this month Right, that's the cheese delivered and the butter delivered to the bakery. Got a little bit of butter left over which we'll take back to the farm, we'll sell it in the farm shop. And then we've got to bring down eggs to complete our supply of the bakery for... I suppose we should actually call it the pie shop now because it's... <laughs> making apple pies, pumpkin pies and cakes well, yeah, cakes are not exactly pies so still have to call it a bakery it's a bakery with uh, pie shop leanings <laughs> oh dear right, so we're not far from back at the shop no, not shop, back at the Farm. Whoops. Good save, bro. Good save. Looks like we've been at the uh, fermented wine or fermented <laughs> fermented apple juice. Or the way we're driving here. Yeah. I decided to leave this in just to show you the. There we go. Ah, falling asleep again at the wheel. Been working too hard. <laughs> oh dear, uh, trying to go too fast. Luckily there's not a lot of traffic in this road so we're trying to keep to the centre of the road. Must have been a tough night in the pub last night. <laughs> well, in case, yeah, we are just about back at the farm. Well, we are back at the farm now. Let's get this into the farm shop. Still got that little bump as we come into there. Try to smooth it up. I don't want to change it too much and it's not really that bad. Give it, we'll give it a go and see if we can smooth it out somewhere along the line. It's probably later in this episode. Or maybe, maybe not in this episode. But uh, we'll, we'll sort that out. There's two delivery points at the at the farm shop. Um, one where we deliver directly into the farm shop, and one we have to deliver into the storerooms. That's why we had to change our position there slightly. Right, I think we need to go and pick up eggs now. So eggs are the next thing we need to go into the into the bakery. I think we will split deliveries of eggs to the bakery and the mayonnaise factory. There might be some crop, well, some crop, some uh, product to pick up from the mayonnaise factory. Yeah, plenty of eggs to deliver. Still waiting for the closest left-hand. Uh, to um, fully produce eggs. 
There we go. It's looking good. Then I think just need to check up, strap those in. I think we need. We still got some milk to collect. So let's go down and collect that. And just have a look and see where the best price is. Should we take it into town? Yeah, the diner is paying more than the farm shop. We've put so much milk into the farm shop there. Protesting, not giving us a good amount of money. I must speak to my shop manager. <laughs> In any case, let's get uh, let's get the the milk tanker loaded up, and then we'll whiz back into town and uh, go and finish the deliveries to the bakery. I don't think this is going to be a full load. No, that's it. That's a reasonable amount to go in there though. We'll make some money out of that. Deliver it to the diner. Right, let's head on into town and we'll see you once we're back in there. Well, we're just about back at the bakery now and let's get those eggs delivered. Then we should have all the the ingredients for making the cakes, pumpkin pies and apple pies and that will be, well, we'll only see that next month really, the fruits of those labours. Might be a little while before the auto deliveries are made here. Yeah. There we go, full up with eggs. We'll deliver the rest of the eggs to the mayonnaise factory. I will just offload the trailer here because if I take the eggs in there they'll auto deliver to the to the um, to the diner. We'll just unhook the milk trailer and we're going to deliver the the milk to the diner. Oops. Got a little bit close to that car. Not having a great driving day. How much are we going to get for this milk? Shouldn't be too... Well, it's not going to be a fortune, but it'll be alright. Milk is a fairly lucrative, lucrative product just to sell on its own. We've done pretty well with it over the last couple of delivery cycles so yeah that's, this is not this is not bad yeah, just over the 20,000 for the I was going to say the extra milk but uh, the rest of our milk production let's go and pick up that trailer Nice to see the train running past. We haven't done a delivery by the train for a while. We might have to look at that just to use all the resources on the map, as so to speak. Right, we'll get these eggs into the mayonnaise factory and pick up the mayonnaise that's there. Get that delivered back to the farm. She's bringing a nice little sum, although I don't think we'll have, we'll probably only have two or three pallets to bring back. Won't be as much as we had in the last delivery cycle. Well, I think the last delivery cycle covered two months, so for the mayonnaise pr uh, production that is. It was with when we did the big, big, we made the big money. 
this won't be quite in that same scale. It's the mayonnaise which has been the big money spinner for this series. Which is good. Always need a money spinner crop to move things on. Right, we'll get back to the farm and we'll see you once we're there. Here we are, just arriving back at the farm and we'll put this into the mayonnaise store, which is part of the farm shop. And we should make a healthy little sum out of that. Indeed. Just over 80,000 for those three crates. Not to be scoffed at. <laughs> oh dear. Right, well I think that's where we're going to end this episode. We're going to go back to a, a lot of arable work in the next episode, still part of November. Look forward to that and a couple of new little speedy developments in that episode. So watch out for that. Thank you so much for watching, if you've enjoyed it. And if you're enjoying the series, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!